Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken wings in the air fryer. Oh yeah, I love chicken wings and I love using my air fryer. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. And now I'm going to show you how to do three different flavors of chicken wings. Really easy to do. We're going to have the base flavor for like a normal style chicken wing. And then we'll do a barbecue and we'll do a honey mustard. Really awesome. And so we're going to start with some chicken wings. And these have been thawed out and I dried them and I have them in this bowl. And I'm going to take a little bowl here and I'm going to add in the seasonings. Now these seasonings don't have to be exact. Feel free to replace some of the seasonings with something else if you want. Or reduce the amount or up the amount if you like. I'm going to start with a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, ground pe black pepper, and then a fourth teaspoon of paprika. And again, you can adjust these amounts of seasonings. I would say try it first like this and then adjust the next time you make it. And I want to point out also is that this base seasoning is going to cover all of the chicken wings, regardless if I'm going to be adding the barbecue sauce or make the little honey mustard uh, mix. And now for the barbecue sauce. I just have my favorite Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce here. And this is like honey barbecue. It's like $2 and a half or something like that over at my supermarket and I really like that. You could also use my homemade barbecue sauce. I have a video for that. You can check that out if you like. It's a great recipe. And then for the honey mustard, really simple, two ingredient honey mustard. I have about a couple tablespoons of mustard here, just normal um, yellow mustard. I have some honey. I'm just going to put in a couple of tablespoons, tablespoon and a half, not quite the same amount of the mustard, so probably about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, and you can adjust as you want. And then I'll just take a spoon and we'll just mix this together really well. Give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And now I'm going to take my seasonings and I'm just going to sprinkle it on this top layer. Now you can just put all the seasonings in like um, a bag and shake it, but I found if it's just seasoning and the chicken, then it gets kind of like most of it gets put onto one of them and it doesn't spread out evenly. And so I want to. Just take these and turn them around. And you can even take them out if you want after you season one side, just to get it as even as possible. And you can also stir them inside that bowl. But I will leave some in the bowl, some here, and that way I can get kind of evenly spread out seasonings. Do this part however you want. Turn them over just to get any other sides that we need to. Okay, and now I will just put everything back in this bowl. And you can even just put them in there and then just kind of toss them a little bit. But again, I like to be a little bit more precise with it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And so these are ready to go. And now it's time to do the air fryer. Even with the sauces, I'm going to cook these in the air fryer for about seven minutes first and then apply the sauce and then cook it for the rest of the seven to eight minutes. It takes about 15 to 18 minutes in the air fryer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius. All right, and so each air fryer is going to be a little bit different. This is my air fryer by Sakura. I have a video review on this particular air fryer if you want to check that out. And I'm just going to pull it out, slide it out of here. And then you're going to want to spray the inside. It's 
A lot of the times this has a non-stick covering on the inside, but I just spray it just so the chicken wings don't stick to it. And if you don't have cooking spray, you can just dab some oil on like a paper towel and kind of move it around if you like. So here we go. And now I'm gonna take the wings. I'm gonna use the same tongs that I used before to, um, to put the raw chicken wings in here. I don't wanna use, I wanna use two separate tongs. The raw, the raw tongs and then I'm gonna use different tongs um, to move them once they're cooked. And then we'll just put these in here. It's okay if they're touching a little bit. And you, I like to do, I usually do just one layer because that's how much I'm normally going to eat. But you could do more and then you're just gonna wanna turn them more so everything gets evenly cooked. Once you have them in the basket, we'll just put the basket back in. And then we will set the temperature to 375. And then once you do the time, it's gonna start the air fryer. And I'm gonna set it for right about seven to seven, about seven to eight minutes. And now we're just gonna let the air fryer do its thing and cook those chicken wings for about seven to eight minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll flip them and we'll baste them with the barbecue sauce and the honey mustard glaze. And then we will cook them the rest of the way. All right, and then once the air fryer shuts off, We'll take it out, turn like this so you can see it better. Looks really good. And now what we need to do is we need to put our flavorings on. And I just have two different um, basting brushes here. And so I'm gonna do some honey golden or honey mustard on this side. And then I'm going to flip those over. Just turn them so they fit well. And then baste that other side. All right. And I will save some to put on when they're done as well. And then I'll do the barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's. And so you could do a combination of these or just do one or the other. Like if you want to just do all barbecue, you can do just do all barbecue. If you want them all to be plain, then just do all plain. Flip these over. And if you notice, like, it didn't take five to 10 minutes to wait for the oven to preheat. And you didn't have to heat up the whole oven just for a few wings. Really, like air fryers are really, really handy. Okay, got some barbecue sauce on there. And then in we go for about seven more minutes. Let it do its thing. All right, the timer went off. Oh yeah. Those look awesome. And now what you can do if you have a meat thermometer, we can check these, double check these just to make sure that we have at least 165 in the meat portion, the meaty portion. Yep. Perfect. But like I said, it's gonna take, in most air fryers at 375, it'll be somewhere between 15 to 18 minutes and you'll be just fine, even if you don't have a meat thermometer. All right, now these are ready to go. And I'm just going to take them out. Looks amazing, look at that. And just put them here on this plate. Looks 
so good. And then what you can do, if you like, is you can come in here and baste a little bit more on, sauce on. If you like. A little bit more barbecue sauce. Just a tad bit more on these wings. And there we have it. Crispy, homemade chicken wings done in the air fryer. Super easy to do. Three different flavors. We got regular, we got barbecue, and we got honey mustard. Simple ingredients, all done under 30 minutes. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor, and this has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into these. Oh yeah, mm mm mm. I'm gonna grab this one right here, little honey mustard one. Yeah, mm mm mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good.